Workout resume. GPS on. So good morning, everybody. This is Carlos, the running jackal. Today I'm going to take you on a run through the saddle between Little Mount Doug and Big Mount Doug, otherwise known as a col in Europe, meaning the lowest pass between two mountains is a col. Beautiful sunny day, a little bit breezy. I have the wind sock. Distance 0.14 kilometers, average heart rate 90, workout average pace 7 minutes 10 seconds per kilometer. So I'm on San Juan. Avenue. I will get back to you when I'm on the new bridge. So I'm just about to enter the trail system on Mount Douglas, but there is a photograph that I want to take just around here, so let me do that. Just resting the voice recorder on somebody's car here as I take a photograph. Distance 1.38 kilometers, average heart rate 134, workout average pace 6 minutes 48 seconds per kilometer. Okay. Auto pause. Okay. So, remembering to pick up the recorder. Back at it, running towards the Edgemont Trailhead. Or no, Viewmont, I think it's called. Viewmont. Could be wrong, it might be Edgemont. There's a lot of edges and views around here and ridges and crescents and terraces. So finally, I'm on dirt. I have Samantha on minimum duty today. She's just giving me pace, heart rate, and distance. I think that's about it. No zone change. Distance 1.47 kilometers. Average heart rate 123. Workout average pace 6 minutes 48 seconds per kilometer. Running parallel to Douglas Creek. Just approaching the new bridge. I did some of this yesterday as a hike, but today it's going to be run, and tomorrow run as well. which I think will probably give me five days of running this week. Distance 1.61 kilometers. Average heart rate 133. Workout average pace 6 minutes 48 seconds per kilometer. As I trot across the new bridge, The other thing she's not giving me is time, no, 
what is it? I'm doing distance, heart rate, and pace, that's right. So she's not giving me the time. I'm having to gauge my only zone, my own zone fours. Hi. I'm a little overdressed today. I see a lot of bare skin, bare arms, bare legs. But I've noticed that as I get older. I'm becoming less and less tolerant of the colder weather. Maybe my skin is getting thinner. Who knows? I won't take too many photographs until I get into the thick of it. Let me just flip my sunglasses up onto my bandana. It's kind of shady in here in the forest of fun. I don't want a trip on a route. So, as I approach Ash Road, I have to watch out for cars here. Not too busy seeing as it's Saturday morning, early. So Norma has gone to Kirkland. She's gone to Kirkland, Washington, to help our son C2 to uh, pack up his gear and come back to Victoria. He has quit his job at Google. He has terminated his lease in Kirkland. He has returned all his Google equipment that they gave him. And now all that has to be done is between him and Norma, they have to pack up what he wants to bring back with him. She's renting a U-Haul in Kirkland and then driving back via the Port Angeles to Victoria Ferry, which sails twice a day, making the, I think it's a 12 mile crossing, maybe a little less. As I skirt the old outdoor school playground, heading up towards Cordova Bay Road, Norma's a little concerned about having to drive. A U-Haul. One of those mid medium-sized U-Hauls. I mean, she has driven stick shift all her life, but I believe this particular U-Haul is automatic, so she won't have to worry about that just the size of the thing. As I pause while I cross the road. So I now have the road on my right. Still running a little fast. I've noticed when I don't use the zone change, I tend to push into those upper zones and uh, 
give them a little bit of time to settle in before I pull the plug. As you know, I'm only getting by the minute updates on my heart rate with no mention of zones. I'm on Lower Whitaker now skirting Mount Douglas towards the north. As I take a walk break, these will be more based on traditional hike zones that I know only too well from having run this particular trail well over 500 times in the last 15 to 20 years. Probably longer than that, actually. I have another up section here. As you enjoy the sound of Saturday morning traffic. Workout average pace 7 minutes 28 seconds per kilometer. I think she said 134 for my heart rate. Let me take another photograph. Two photographs, as it happens. Both looking towards the ocean from the trails. So 20 minutes in to my run. Then I'm at the, at the junction of Norn and Whitaker on the east side of the mountain. I have about 12 minutes recorded so far. So approximately. Approximately halfway into this recording session. As I move further and further away, from the traffic. Very soon. Average heart rate 135. Workout average pace 7 minutes 39 seconds per kilometer. Very soon I'll be officially in the quiet zone. Another walk break coming up. baby glove today. The baby glove. I have now a collection of baby socks and baby gloves. Distance 3 kilometers. Average heart rate 136. Workout average pace 7 minutes 40 seconds per kilometer. Still faster than usual, 
at this stage. So this is the corner where the resort is and also where Norn crosses Whitaker. It's quite muddy around here. We've had two or three days of quite heavy rain. Yesterday I went to look at the creek to see if it was in full surge mode, but it wasn't. Hello. There was more than just a trickle, but not enough for the surge name, the description, the descriptor. So now you'll just hear the sounds of nature. Distance 3.31 kilometers. Average heart rate 132. Workout average pace 7 minutes 50 seconds per kilometer. So, the rough calculation is that at eight minute pace, I have done three and a half kilometers, so three eighths at 24. And uh, another four. So coming up to 28 minutes of running, let me check. I know I'm up to about 17 minutes of audio, 31 minutes of running. Distance 3.41 kilometers, average heart rate 133, workout average pace 7 minutes 52 seconds per kilometer. I'm just coming up on the fake bridges. And the last bridge. Now I climb up to Upper Whitaker and head for the Col. I think I shall call this episode running through the Col. I've used the saddle name many, many times, but the other thing is that when I signed up for the paid plan on Spreaker, distance three point sixty four kilometers, average heart rate one hundred forty, workout average pace seven minutes fifty seven seconds per kilometer. They obliged me to reduce my storage to 110 hours from 550 hours that I had I think I'm now up to about 55 hours so getting to the halfway on my new reduced storage plan of which I'm paying not very much to tell you the truth I think it's going to go up next year hello distance 3.70 kilometers average heart rate 137 gave him the choice of choosing his route 
he was coming down. with speed, so it makes sense to step aside to let him through. He was also in shorts and short sleeves. Here's me with my sweatshirt, my neck warmer, and my long pants. Soon coming to the end of the hiking section of this run. I'm going to extend the run after I get through the saddle, through the col. I'm going to go all the way down the Lendenning and finish off by doing Kevin's Ramp and Bow Park back to the Felton Trail. Distance 3.81 kilometers. Average heart rate 132. Workout average pace 8 minutes 22 seconds per kilometer. My shoes have just dried out from the Wednesday session. Or was it? No, it was a Thursday session. It rained on me the whole time. I was out, but I'm now just about dried out. I lost another bandana, unfortunately. Eventually, they tear from constant wear and wash. The material eventually breaks down. So, if any of you are stuck for a Christmas present for me, please. Distance 3.89 kilometers. Average heart rate 130. Workout average pace 8 minutes 28 seconds per kilometer. Send me a bandana of your choice. I will wear it with pride and mention you every time that I do. So there you go, that's an incentive. Notoriety. Just coming up on the elephant rock. There's an option here to go right up to the summit. But I did that the other day. And uh, it just means that I have to hike still further. This one, this run should give me about 300 feet, maybe 400 feet of elevation. Distance 3.97 kilometers, average heart rate 125, workout average pace 8 minutes 34 seconds per kilometer. So I've lost a minute on this hiking section. One minute out of about four kilometers. Maybe four and a half K. Still being a little cautious here because I have my road shoes on. I know this trail quite well and it's not terribly technical but enough to slip and come a cropper. And I don't want to do that. Not while Norma's away. She did say that if her car needs to be moved, that I should ask 4 .04 the neighbor. To do the driving. I don't have a license anymore to drive. Too much of a beer drinker to be trusted behind the wheel of an automobile. So, to encourage my pedestrianism and discourage unnecessary laziness, I gave up my license to drive when I turned 60 10 years ago. 
Hello. Hi there, dog. Oh, oh Willow. Or not Willow. Billy. Get Billy. Off get off him. That's right. Hello, people. Hello. Oh, it's just painful. I don't know why. I feel like I so, I don't think I'll get into double digits on this run. I think I'll always be slightly swifter than 10 minute kilometers. But I am tempting that outcome at the moment by hiking. I've noticed today that my friend Chris Starling has run a pretty swift 8K, a five miler, out in Virginia Beach. Distance along. 4 17 kilometers. Average heart rate 124. Workout average pace 8 minutes 50 seconds per kilometer. Along the boardwalk and the waterfront of Virginia Beach. I think that run for him on the five miles was approximately four meters of elevation change. But I was kind of worried about him. Hello. Hello. Hi, doggy. Hi there. Hi. Hello. So I told her. From somebody who used to post more often than I did, than I do, he went to being a... Hello! Morning. Whoop. To being a silent Distance member. Average heart rate 129. Workout average pace 8 minutes 57 seconds per kilometer. I believe he had some issues with plantar fasciitis. Hi there. Hey. Go ahead. Thank you. Morning. Hi. Hop, hop, hop. Hi there. As I turn towards the call, having left four runners behind, they took a slightly different route. In fact, they went back the way I came as I hike up towards the saddle. I shall stop my recording there. Distance 4.30 kilometers. Average heart rate 135. Workout average pace 9 minutes 2 seconds per kilometer. When I'm in the jaws of the saddle. Which is coming up right now. Hi there. Hi there. Come back. All right. So this is my highest point today. And as I say, it's going to be Glendenning all the way back with Bow Park and Feltham Trail at the end. Auto paused. Workout resumed. This is where I brought Patrick when Workout he came resume. visiting. Just coming up to the large piece of rock that we were discussing whether it had been left here by a glacier. Average heart rate 136. Workout average pace 9 minutes 8 seconds per kilometer. Yep. Time for hydration. 40 minutes in. And this run is supposed to be about 80 minutes. So that's why... I'm doing the add-on at the end. Beautiful sunlight now. Perfect photographic conditions. I don't, I wouldn't be going 
going to him, Cash. No. Well, Hi there. Did you see gifts with the good pictures? Yeah, I was just wondering how this rock got to be here. <laughs> I mean, it's too big to have... Uh, Maybe it fell. It rolled. It could have rolled from up there. Yeah. But long, it long ago. Maybe a glacier left it here. Yeah, or from the, yeah. Could have been a glacier. Yeah, might have been. It's too it's big. interesting, it's isn't it? It is. You wonder why such a big thing is that far away from... Yeah. I suppose you're right. It could have rolled from either side. Either side, yeah. It, it could have come down. It was a big bounce. <laughs> it was. Bye-bye. <laughs> have a good Yep. Workout resumed. All right, as we discuss the boulder, I will put my camera away. And uh, now I have some glorious downhill to look forward to. Let me just pause the... Uh, <coughs> The recorder at 31, 38, right about now.